In this video, I will be demonstrating how to use the plate array analysis ribbon. Now, if you did not assign the plate array as the analysis type during acquisition, what you need to do is go to the analysis ribbon and under type here on the left, uh, on the pull down menu, go to plate array. That can also be done through the quick start menu up here at the top. And again, it's just simply plate array. And in the new ribbon that opens up over here, which the first thing that you need to do is to choose what type of plate was used. Now, in this particular case, it was a 96 well plate. And as you can see on here, we have a three by three grid um, on or for the array in each one of the wells. So uh, next, what I would need to do is to move the grid into the proper location. And once you have it there, you can use the arrow keys to do some fine tuning on the, on the grid. If need be, if, uh, if, the, if you have some larger spots than the preset, you can use the larger and smaller to adjust those. You can expand or contract the grids within each one. And if you know the exact size of the grid layout, uh, if you click here on the options under spot layout, you can enter in those values manually right here. And this is also where you will set up what type of spots are in your grid. So for this particular one, we have the upper left hand uh, spot is will be used as background. And if you click on these spots, you, you will toggle through them being signal, background, or not used. And so I just simply toggle that one to be set to background, and then that will be the background for each one of the, the arrays uh, within the wells. Uh, the background type is set as array, and, that, and that's that was this functionality right here. The software can also do uh, some minor adjustments to the location uh, using this adjust, or if need be, if you highlight the set of wells or the set of arrays right here, you can do a little bit more fine tuning to get that into the proper location. So once everything has been set and is in the right spot, uh, we'll, we'll look at the data. And so we have the plate array spots right here. and this is a column format of all of the data in this plate array. And what you want to use, if you have set background, you're going to use signal for doing your analysis. Uh, if there were no spots within the array designated as background, what you will want to use then is the total. If you would like to view the data in a chart format, if, uh, if there aren't too many spots in this array, uh, if we come over here to the right hand side of the window and click on chart, you can choose plate array total. And because there are so many spots, we have a 96 well plate with nine, uh, nine spots in each array. Uh, it's, it's very, it can be a little difficult to view all of these. Uh, but if you want to look at a particular array, if you highlight uh, say a set of arrays, or in this case, I'm just going to do one spot or one uh, well right here, and I'm going to filter out everything else. So I had highlighted those, and I'm going to use this as a selection filter. And now we see that only the spots that are, are in this particular well uh, are showing up here on this um, chart right here. And then if I want to view everything together, I just click on filter again and then clear that from there. Uh, so we have the, the column formats of all of the spots on here. And then we also have the grid sheet. So if we want to look at a particular array, you choose the array that you want and which wavelength that you want. And uh, we'll use total in this case. And then we see all nine values that are listed right here. So if you have any further questions, uh, please refer to the help section. Thank you.